Let's move on to the next question for Marine Mechanics e-learning module and the first module is all about emergency build suction. So these are the frequently asked questions in the oral examinations about the emergency build suction valve. One particular question is why the build suction valve or the why the emergency build suction valve are located in bottom platform? Why not in the platform above? It's very simple. You have all the end all the seawater systems or the seawater pumps on the entire seawater pipelines are on the bottom platform. So there is no reason to have this valve located in a platform above the bottom platform. If so, then there is, I mean logically it is not uh, worth to have a valve located in a platform above the bottom platform. So since the bilges, all the seawater pipings and the pumps are located in bottom platform, it is essential to have this valve located in the bottom platform alone. So that could be the reason. And the next question is why bilge injection valve or the emergency bilge suction valve are located mostly in the forward part of the engine room or mid part. Why not at the aft? So uh, some people say that the answer would be trim and other factors which is absolutely wrong. The main reason to have the build suction valve or the emergency build suction valve to in the forward of the engine room or uh, somewhere in the middle, not in the aft, is your C suction in the C chest and the seawater pumps are in the forward part of engine room. You can never find them in the aft part. The reason being the breadth of the ship is maximum in the forward part of the ship and not in the aft. So your C sections will be separated as much as possible. Thus, the C sections and the C chest line are completely in the forward part of the engine room. Now, since your C section is in the forward part, your main seawater pump and other pumps, emergency, uh, you know, uh, emergency fire pump, or uh, sometimes your emergency bilge pump, or sometimes your ballast pumps, your general service fire and GS pump, will be located near to the C chest line. Now, the bilge injection valve is located close to this area just because of the reason that a factor called NPSH. The more lengthier the suction line, the suction is going to get reduced. Hope you understand now. Let's say, for example, you have all the pumps, main sea chest line and the main sea water pump and ballast pump or fire and GS pump all in the forward part and you have this emergency build suction in the aft part of the engine room. Let's say the distance between them is 20 meters and as you all know for any centrifugal pump to take suction effectively the NPSH comes into play. With that in mind if you have uh, emergency build suction in the aft of the engine room then there are chances that the build suction may not take suction. You know the water may not be sucked in properly. So it is for this reason these injection valves are kept close to the seawater pump or sea chest line so that the NPSH and the restrictions in the line is reduced. If you wonder what is NPSH, let's talk about it in the future courses. Let's now proceed to the next lecture.